Hello friends, welcome to this installment of Hymn of the Week, a uh, time that uh, we at Baker View Church get to think a little bit about uh, some hymns, their meaning in our lives, the stories behind them, and a passage of scripture that comes alongside. It's our delight to bring this to you and spend these few minutes together of encouragement, of hope, of fellowship uh, via this medium that we're fortunate to be able to use. Well, let me go straight to our passages of the week and then Harry will tell us the hymn story. Ephesians 2, verses 1 to 10. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live, when you followed the ways of the world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And then we'll go to one more verse in the Old Testament. Some might call this a famous verse, Micah 6, 8, a verse of action. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Pastor Harry, we're looking forward to this week's hymn story. Our hymn of the week is there's a wideness in God's mercy. Author Frederick W. Faber. In last week's Hymn of the Week, Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus, we contemplated the depth of God's unfathomable love. This week, we consider the breadth of his mercy. There's a wideness in God's mercy. Both hymns use the image of an ocean to illustrate their respective themes. There's a wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. The biblical word mercy is a comprehensive word that includes a range of meanings such as mercy, compassion, and loving kindness. Motivated by God's deep love for all, his mercy is wide open and accessible to all who cry to God for mercy. A quick read of the gospel reveals a wide range of people who cried out to God for mercy, whom God heard, forgave, healed, fed, and set free. The author of our Hymn of the Week, Frederick W. Faber, illustrates a wideness of mercy in his own spiritual journey. He was born June 24, 1814, in Yorkshire, England. His family was of French Huguenot descent, which explains his strong Calvinistic upbringing. He went on to study at Oxford University where he was strongly influenced by the Oxford movement led by John Henry Newman. It was a movement that reacted in some aspects of the evangelical revival and its impact on the Anglican church. They worked to restore such things as liturgy, private confession, and penance. Following graduation from Oxford, 
He was ordained to ministry in the Anglican Church. After serving in a small Anglican parish for three years, he took the radical step of renouncing Protestantism and in 1845 was rebaptized to become a Roman Catholic. He served as a cleric in the Catholic Church until his death in 1863 at age 49. One thing Frederick Faber did not renounce was his love for singing hymns. He had been influenced by the hymns of John and Charles Wesley and considered their hymns models of simplicity and fervor. He took upon himself the task of writing hymns for Catholic worship for the next 18 years of his life. He wrote more than 150 hymns during this period, two of which are sung both by Catholics and Protestants to this very day. One, the faith, faith of our fathers. The other, there's a wideness in God's mercy. The lyrics of this hymn were part of a 13-verse poem written by Frederick Faber entitled, Come to Jesus, first published in 1863, one year before his death. The hymn, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy, also preserves and encouraged worship, whether Protestant or Catholic. It contained five verses. There are a number of striking lines in this hymn that are uniquely stated and arrest our attention. He writes, there's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is mercy with the Savior. There is healing in his blood. But we make God's love too narrow by false limits of our own. If our love were but more simple, we should rest upon God's word and our lives would be illumined by the presence of our Lord. Listen to the music as composed by Lizzie S. Turgy and played by Calvin and Heather Dick and follow the words on your screens to our him, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy by Frederick W. Faber, our Hymn of the Week. <laughs> 